I still am not a fan of celebrities coming in. I get it. I get it. But it still kind of hurts my heart a little bit when I have celebrities come in to a wrestling match. You know, Katie's all excited that Jelly Roll came in and did a choke slam or, or something. And I'm like, you know, she knows I hate that kind of stuff. But, <laughs> um, you know, it, 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 well, I mean, you know why it fucking, uh, yeah, it, it takes away from it. Like, I, it, we talked it about this. It, it discredits everything we do, makes it look like anybody could do it. Uh, and, and on top of that, the, you know, I, there's always, it's hard when you're in that state of mind to not feel like how much more is that motherfucker coming in, getting paid right. to come in for his three seconds in the business when I'm here busting my ass every week and fucking making 500 bucks. So there's, there's always that too, but I've just always hated it when, you know, Jeremy Piven comes in and does a cross body because, you know, I mean, that's, that's inconsistent with the way I got trained. What do we do? Me and uh, Sabu uh, back in ECW uh, had a situation where ICP was coming in. You know right. what I mean? Uh -huh. and, and they were actually our friends, you know, but we, you know, they were still marks to us, kind of. You know, I mean, Joe was even in the business, you know, um, but I know uh, I know that I that I popped him. Because I heard about, it. I heard he wrote it in his book that I popped his eardrum with a with a kick, you know. Which you know, I'm not saying that was any harder than a kick I would have done to any of the boys, but we didn't take it easy on them because they're um, outsiders or, or or treat them like celebrities or, or whatever. And so basically, what I'm saying is, if Jeremy Piven can handle the Van Daminator, then then he might win me over. But no, you know what I mean. Like it, what we do uh, is not easy. Uh, for anybody, it takes a long, long time to uh, to to learn the craft, and I think that it sells it short when they have someone come in and 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 they're able to pull off something. Uh, you know, who, who would win a fight? You know, right. Jeremy Piven or the guy you did a crossbody to? My money's on the other guy. <laughs> and and you could say, well, in wrestling, it's a lot of times like that, but not necessarily. You don't really know a lot of times, and that's something you, you assume, but a lot of times the it surprises you that the smaller uh, guy is way tougher than the bigger guy a lot of times. If it came to outside of the ring um, street fight, which is basically your goal is end this however you have to as soon as possible. You know what I mean? Right, right. Total different game. Total different game, and you, you, you can get some information watching them wrestle, but – but, but not as much as as you would imagine. Well, so we talked about this before on like. I'm uh, sure any wrestler would kick Jeremy Piven's ass. That's it. And you know he called he called SummerSlam Summerfest in his promo too that night. He called it yeah, Summerfest. Motherfucker. You don't even do care about the business. Don't even 